Hi guys, I hope you are doing well. So today we'll see the question on the topic of sequence and series. So he's asking us to find the value of 2 raised to 1 by 4, 4 raised to 1 by 8, 8 raised to 1 by 16, 16 raised to 1 by 32, and so on till infinite. Right. So let's understand how to find the value for this. Before this, I'll introduce the concept to you as we have discussed in the previous videos as well. We know that arithmetic progression is such a progression wherein the difference between the consecutive terms is a constant value. And geometric progression is a progression wherein the ratio between the consecutive terms is a constant. Right. So if I want to write arithmetic progressions difference, I can explain it to you as if let's say your elements or terms are A, B, C, D and so on, arithmetic progression is defined when the difference between B and A is equal to difference between C and B, that's also equal to difference between D and C, right? So if the difference is equal, the terms are arithmetic progression. And if I want to explain it to you in the terms of geometric progression, the common ratio should be constant. So B by A should be equals to C by B that should be equals to D by C and so on. So the common ratio between the two terms should be a constant value. So the first step I can understand to do in this question is to make all the terms or to convert all the terms into a same single base. So I can write all the terms into a single base of two, right? So it is two raised to one by four in the first term. Second term, I can write four as two square, right? So two square, so 2 square is 2 raised to 2 into 1 by 8. 8 I can write as 2 cubed. So it becomes 3 into 1 by 16. Further, I can write 16 as 2 raised to 4. So 4 into 1 by 32 and so on till infinity. Now if you see here, 2, I have the same common base. So if I write the same common base as 2, what I'm left with is, if I use the rule of indices, a raised to m into a raised to n is a raised to m plus n. So I can write this as 2 raised to 1 by 4 plus 2 by 8 plus 3 by 16 plus 4 by 32 and so on till infinity. Right. So I now have the same common base 2 but I have the expansion of the powers. Let's keep this as s. So I'll write it as some variable s. Now, first of all, let's find the value of S and whatever value of S we get, we'll put in here and we'll get the answer for this entire question which is asked, right? So now, first of all, let's find S. So if I write it, S is 1 by 4 plus 2 by 8 plus 3 by 16 plus 4 by 32 and it goes till infinity, right? So now, if I see this uh, series, I can see that the numerators have a common difference of one between them. So if I just see the numerator separately, I can see they are in arithmetic progression having a common difference. But if I see the denominators in this case, every denominator is obtained by multiplying the previous denominator by two. So denominators, I can see they are in geometric progression because the common ratio between the two terms is a constant value. So what we'll do now is we'll do some adjustments so either we get the entire series in the term of arithmetic progression or in the term of geometric progression. Let's see. So what I can do here is, first of all, if I divide this entire series by 2, what I get is 1 by 8. So I'm dividing each term by 2. So it becomes 2 by 16, 3 by 32, 4 by 64, and so on. Right? So now what I have done is I have divided this entire previous series by 2. So now if you see, if I take subtraction of this two series, this 2 by 8 and 1 by 8, if it gets subtracted, it becomes 1 by 8. 3 by 16 minus 2 by 16 will again become 1 by 16. 4 by 32 minus 3 by 32 will again become 1 by 32. So what we are trying to obtain here is, so if I subtract both of this series, what I get is S minus S by 2, that is S by 2, and that is equal to 1 by 4 plus 2 by 8 minus 1 by 8, so 1 by 8, 3 by 16 minus 2 by 16, 1 by 16, 
4 by 32 minus 3 by 32, 1 by 32 and 1 by 64 and it goes on and on till infinity. So basically what I have tried to do here is I have converted my entire question which consisted of numerators in arithmetic and denominators in geometric progression. I have converted the entire question into a geometric progression now and this becomes a series or sum of an infinite geometric progression. Now, here if you see the ratio between the terms is a constant value. So R, if I find out, that is 1 by 8 upon 1 by 4, that is 4 by 8, that's half. So the common ratio between all the terms is half. First term also I know it is 1 by 4. And for an infinite geometric progression, we already know sum of terms is given by A upon 1 minus R, where A is your first term. R is the common ratio, right? And this formula is only valid when R is between 1 and minus 1, right? So here also, if you see, R is half, which is less than 1. So I can use this idea. So now, if I write S by 2, if I write S by 2, it is A, A is 1 by 4. 1 minus r, r is half. So 1 minus r. So it becomes 1 by 4 upon half. So which is 2 by 4, that is half. So s by 2 is half. If I want s, I'll get it 2 into half. That is 1. So I get the value for s and that is 1. I'll substitute in the previous page which we have written and we will get the answer for the question asked. That is 2 raised to 1. Right. So this is the answer for the question which is asked to us. And if you see the option, the option which matches with the answer is A. So the correct answer for this question which was asked to us is A. I hope you are clear with the concepts of geometric as well as arithmetic progression. And also you are clear with how to find the sum of an infinite terms in a geometric progression. I'll meet you again tomorrow with the next question. Till then, you can like, share and subscribe if you are really finding it helpful. Thank you.